Howdy guys, Nathan here with TFL Car, right next to the Alley Auto Show, which starts tomorrow, at least for the press. Now, this is a very important vehicle for Volkswagen, and that's because it is literally put in a place where it's going to take on Tesla's Model Y. Yeah, that's right, about 300 horsepower, give or take. This vehicle is all-wheel drive, basically an SUV crossover, just like the Model Y. But here's the interesting point about that. This vehicle will come out most likely well before the Model Y. And here's why. Experts have told us that in order for Elon Musk to build the Model Y and actually get it out to the masses, he has to build a new plant. He has to retool that plant. He has to get everything going in order to actually build and deliver those vehicles. And they're assuming 2021 or even 2022. This vehicle, which is the first amongst the ID vehicles, all electric vehicles from Volkswagen on the new platform, is coming to the United States in 2020. Come on, let's take a little tour. Now, if Andre rotates, Andre, if you could show them this, this is the ID Buzz. You guys have seen this already. This is their van. Now, here's the cool part about it. Same platform. It is the MEB all-electric platform, brand new for Volkswagen. And not only is that van on it and this vehicle on it, but that over there is too. And that is the ID. The ID base model, which at least for now, unfortunately, is not coming to the United States. Yeah, send your letters to Volkswagen. Now, first of all, I think this thing is gorgeous. There's very little chrome on it. It's, it's, it's actually really cool. One of the Volkswagen guys came out and said the new design ethic on this vehicle is that light takes the place of chrome. Now, obviously not on the wheels, but if you look everywhere else, especially on the front end of it, you're gonna see light where chrome would normally be. And I think that's really cool. I'm not a big chrome guy to begin with. And what you may have noticed is that as Andre was sweeping across the vehicle, and Andre, let's come back over here and show them, there's a lot of tech hanging off this thing. Remember, it is a prototype. So you have LiDAR, you have cameras for autonomous driving. It looks like there's several different ports around the vehicle, inside and out, to add and subtract electronics. This thing will be capable of <laughs> autonomous driving, big surprise. But check this out. This is kind of an interesting thing. Now these are cameras and they look really cool. I have a feeling it won't pass DOT requirements and what they may do is have a rear view mirror with a camera underneath it so you get the best of both worlds. That's a guess. Giant wheels. They said that these cars tend to favor large vehicles. Andre, you got to show them this ID. Such a shame that we're not going to be getting that. Really cool. And by the way, same footprint as the current model Golf. But the interior space is so much more because electric and no engine. So there you go. So Nathan, I think the interesting part about the Cross is because it's coming in 2020. Yep. It's going to have approximately 300 horsepower. That's right, uh, which I mentioned. But it also, we're expecting 300 or more miles for range. They were showing a chart on this projected image here, and it did show that as potential range. And here's the cool part. As time moves on, battery technology increases by leaps and bounds. Believe me, we heard about it for quite a while here. And that means that lighter batteries will actually favor the vehicles because lighter means more range. And then being able to hold that power in a more efficient way, more range. So it's a very good chance that they'll be able to easily meet with 300 miles range and a vehicle that has over 300 horsepower. That's my guess, but you know what? It's gonna be interesting to see how Tesla reacts to this. I think the other interesting part is the price. They said it will be similarly priced to a mid-size SUV now. That's right. Now. Guys, so this price is gonna hover roughly around the same price as something like the Volkswagen Tiguan. Seriously, that is insane because a vehicle like this by some other companies, I mean, I'm, I was thinking 100 grand, 150 grand. So that is pretty substantial when you think about it. All right, guys, thanks for so much for joining us. We got to get going here. For the Fastlane Cars, this is Nathan, and behind the camera, Andre. We'll see you next time.